nothing like living a simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, just in time for Halloween, I have this vintage piece of equipment that was like the premier device for ghost hunting back in the day. This is a Sony DCS F717. This is a really cool digital camera from back in the day. And there are some features that make it still kind of cool even in the modern era. It is a digital camera with quite a professional looking uh, nose on it there. That, it's got a pretty nice uh, manual zoom and auto zoom and auto focus and manual focus. Not too terribly. Like if you looked at the base of this, it probably matches up with a lot of cameras back in the day. What set this apart and what still made it cool, and I picked this up at, uh, oh gosh, where was I? It was at a flea market somewhere for like $15. Now it did need a battery, and the uh, memory card is a little outdated, so I've ordered a larger one. But what makes it awesome is this. It has night shot, night vision, Sony's proprietary night vision. Now they came out with that, I think, in 97 or 98. The first camcorder I ever had uh, that was a uh, um, eight millimeter, I think it was, or maybe it was digital. No, I think it was just regular eight millimeter tape. Uh, it had night shot on it, and it was fun to play with. And we used to do some ghost hunting when I first got into uh, camera work and, and YouTube. And so, with this thing, you can take some really cool pictures, and I'll show you a few here, just demonstrating that this thing works. You can take photos at night. It has some IR lights in the end here that that allow it to project light and it has a, a shoe on top and you could add a brighter array of um, UV lighting to light it up. What's really cool about this particular unit is that you can also make a small modification to it and shoot in nearly true infrared mode. And uh, here's a picture that I found on the internet demonstrating what that looks like. And so we used to do some, you know, go to graveyards at night. The things, you know, when ghost hunters first came out back in that era of time, there was a guy that we used to run around with that had one of these things, and he had modified it to do infrared photography. And while we never caught any ghosts on camera, I was always impressed with the features and functions that this has had. I was kind of surprised after picking it up and bringing it home that they're not really worth a whole lot. Uh, I guess, you know, technology moved on. It's five megapixels. It does record video, and I'll let this very grainy video play here. Maximum image quality is 320 by 240. And uh, when I first turned it on and had it set up, it was recording much lower. It was actually recording at like 160, I think it was. So uh, very, very pin size, you know, very pixelated. But even at 320, it's a pretty poor quality uh, video. But it was video out of a camera, which was kind of uh, revolutionary at the time. It does have a built-in flash. This pops up right here and takes photos. And it has a variety of other hookups. We have, uh, uh, you can charge directly by plugging in right there. You do have, thankfully, a USB 1.0 connection right here that allows you to transfer memory uh, or, you know, the file contents. And it uses Sony's, I think they've abandoned this, but it uses Sony's M2 memory. So it's like an SD card or a micro SD, but it's not. It's proprietary. And I had to actually, uh, you know, do some digging to find a card that was bigger. This one has the, the micro adapter, so we use a small one to a big one. And the battery is, is pretty easy to get. That was not a whole lot of money for that. But, um, yeah, it's got some different modes. Like I said, I'll just show you some pictures. Here's a couple pictures as well of shooting it uh, in normal light. Now, on the back, there is another uh, plug-in here, and there is a place for uh, outputting it to a TV, but I don't have the cables to do that directly. However, the fact that I have a USB cable that I can transfer this stuff back and forth to the computer kind of kind of just works fine for me for what I need it for. So will I use this? Yeah, actually, I probably will. Uh, it's kind of fun to play with. It's not something I'll own forever, but uh, it was a bucket list item. It's something that I would never have gone out and, and bought on eBay or sought out at a, you know, at a store. But ever since seeing and playing with the one that my friend had, I felt that it was a really cool you know, kind of camera, and it is. There's not any camera that I'm aware of, uh, no matter what the price, these days on the market that offers uh, night shot, night vision. Now, certainly there's camcorders out there, some aftermarket camcorders, no names and stuff. In fact, I've owned one um, and returned it because I wasn't happy with the performance in daytime, but it had night vision. I don't know that Sony makes their camcorders with night vision anymore. They might still make one or two models, but it was something they kind of created. It was cool, 
and you can see the picture behind me here. Uh, it's kind of a cool thing. It takes the kind of greenish photo, and it does work pretty well. I remember the camcorder I had had something called Super Night Shot, and that would really light up the night. But it took it was it was choppy. You know, you got maybe 10 frames a second instead of 30, so not really useful for actual film work, but something fun to play with. Now the camera I'm filming this on is a Sony 53AX, I believe, a 4K camera, one of their top of the line for consumers. And it didn't offer a uh, night shot. So I assume that they have dropped that from their product line, but they may still make it in certain models. Maybe one of y'all can let me know about it. So I know it's a little bit of a departure from the normal stuff that I film, uh, but here's a close up. Uh, I'll, I'll just take some close up photos with another camera. My cell phone has you know, 20 megapixel, you know, probably to, uh, to take pictures with, but it was in decent shape. The price was $10 and it included, you know, a dead battery, this uh, carrying handle, and, uh, and the memory stick, although it turned out the memory stick was really small, 32 megabytes. That's pretty small even in this era. I've ordered a 2 gig, so I should be able to do more more stuff with it. But uh, for a ghost hunter out there, for people, and, and this being Halloween, uh, for people who still are into that sort of stuff, this is actually still a somewhat desirable model, mostly because it has the ability with some lens modification, really minor stuff that you can undo easily, of shooting in infrared. And I want to make that modification to this and try that out and see how that works just, just for fun. So that's it. It's not that long of a video, but I hope you enjoyed it. And you may not be aware that this ever existed, the DCS F717, and it predated by the uh, F707. Both of them are decent little cameras. Obviously not something you're going to want to haul around everywhere, but for working at night or in low light conditions, this might be just what you need. <laughs> that's it for today, my friends. Take care.